if you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. To solve this pair of simultaneous equation by substitution, we have y is equal to 2x plus 5 and also y is equal to x plus 8. So we can substitute this y here with this because y is equal to 2x plus 5. So in another word, is 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 8. So 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 8. Or you can even replace this y is equal to x plus 8. Doesn't really matter. You can even write x plus 8 is equal to 2x plus 5. So it will give you the same results. Now I just solve these equations. So I move this on this side and I move 5 on this side. So this 2x, I just write this down. So 2x, move this x on this side, becomes minus x. And this 8 here, I just write this down, 8. And then the positive 5, I move over, become minus 5. So 2x minus x is leave with me 1x. So I just write x. And 8 minus 5 is 3. So that is x is equal to 3. Now, we need to find y value. So since x equal to 3, I can substitute this x value here, 3, either into this equation, that is y is equal to y is equal to 3 plus 8, which is equal to 11. Or I can substitute x equals 3 into this equation. Doesn't matter which equation you substitute in, it gives you the same value. So let's see. So y is equal to 2x, x is 3, so 2 lots of 3 plus 5, so which is equal to 6 plus 5, which is 11. See? So that's the same. So therefore, I just write the answer out. X is equal to 3. Y is equal to 11. Next one. So we have X is equal to 2X plus 3Y. And here, X is equal to 6 minus Y. So we just replace 2X plus 3y into this x here. So that is equal to 2 plus 3y is equal to 6 minus y. Now I just move y on one side and then the number on the other side. So I move the negative y on this side, this 2 I move to this side. So this 3y, I just write this down. So 3y and then the minus y, I move on this side, becomes plus y. Equal the 6, I write the 6 down. And then the 2, that I move to the right, that become minus 2. So now just collecting light terms. So 3y plus another y is 4y. And 6 minus 2 is 4. Then what I do, I just divide this by 4 and divide this by 4, and this cancel out, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So y is equal to 1. So now we have the y value, so find x value, which is substitute the y is equal to 4 into this equation, or into this equation. Doesn't really matter, you get the same answer. So I just substitute into these equations, it's just easier, that's all, doesn't really matter. So x is equal to 6 minus y, y is 1, so which is minus 1 out, so which is equal to 5. So therefore, I just write the answer out, x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 1. Let's move on to the next one. So first of all, we know that y 
is equal to this, okay? And we have 4y plus x is equal to negative 20. So we just substitute x plus 2 over 2 into y because y is equal to x plus 2 over 2. So now 4y is becomes 4, we bracket, x plus 2 over 2, bracket, plus x is equal to negative 20. Now this one here, we can simplify this out. Let's divide by 2. So that give me 2 here. So that is 2 bracket x plus 2 and then we add x which equal to negative 20. Then I just remove the bracket by timing this together. So 2 times x is 2x. And then 2 times 2 is equal to 4. I just write the 4 down and this x, I just write this down. So plus x and is equal to negative 20. Now I just solve these equations, but before I do that, I collect the like term first. We have 2x plus another x is 3x. And this 4 here, and then we move on this side, becomes minus 4. So negative 20, you minus 4, that give me minus 24. So just write negative 24 down. And then the next step is we just divide everything by, by 3. So if I divide this by 3, I divide this by 3. So x is equal to negative 8. Now to find y, so we can substitute x into either this equation here or this equation. But we're going to substitute in this equation here because it's quicker, that's all, easier. So y is equal to x, x is negative 8 plus 2 over 2. So this means that negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 over 2. Otherwise, just put that in your calculator and you should get the answer is negative 3. So when we finish, we say therefore, x is equal to negative 8 and y is equal to negative 3. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. First one, we have y is equal to 3 minus x and y is equal to 2x plus 9. So what we can do is we substitute y is equal to this. So we have 3 minus x is equal to 2x plus 9. Then because this x is negative, so I just move this on the side. It doesn't matter if you want to move the 2x on this side, you get the same result, okay? But I just don't like negative number. So I move on this side, and therefore this 9 is need to move to this side. So the 3, I write this down, so that's give me 3 there. Positive 9, I move over, becomes minus 9. And then 2x, these 2x, I write this down, equal 2x. And the negative x, you move on the right hand side, becomes positive x. And 3 minus 9 is negative 6. And then 2x plus x is 3x. So what I do now is I just divide this by 3. I divide this by 3, so that cancel out. Otherwise, just use your calculator. So x give me negative 2. To find y, of course, I can substitute the x equal negative 2 in here or x equal negative 2 in this equation. Doesn't matter which one you want to put in. So I just substitute x equal negative 2 into the first equation. That is y equals 3 minus negative 2. So that becomes positive, So which is 3 plus 2 is 5. So I write, therefore, 
x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 5. Let me move on to next one. y equal to x minus 3 and 3x plus y equals 17. So this y here is equal to x minus 3. So just substitute the first one into the second equation. So 3x plus y, but this y is this. So plus x minus 3, which give me 17. So now I just collect like term. So 3x plus x is 4x. So I just write 4x. And this 3 here, I move on this side, becomes plus 3. So 17 plus 3 is equal to 20. Then what I do, I divide this by 4. I divide this by 4. This cancel out. So therefore, x is equal to 5. Then I substitute x equal 5 into the first equation. This equation here is easier. That's all. Of course, you can substitute in this equation here, but it's first one easier, faster, that's all. So therefore, with the 5y, I substitute that into first one, so which is 5 minus 3, because y equals x minus 3, this time x is 5, so I put 5 minus 3 down. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Then we have x and we have y, so therefore, x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 2. Last one. So we have x is equal to 3y minus 2 and whereas y is equal to 2x plus 8. So we have to substitute 2x plus 8 into this y here. So to do this, I just write x is equal to 3, lots of y, but y is 2x plus 8, but because of more than one term, so I just put in bracket, so x plus 8, and then we minus 2, of course, we need to close the bracket. Now I just remove the bracket first. So 3 times 2 is 6, so 6x. 3 times 8 is 24, so we add 24, and the minus 2, we just write this down. So now I just collect like terms, but before that I move the x on this side. So that give me x, the positive 6x move over become minus 6x. And that equal to 24 minus 2 is equal to 22. Now x minus 6x is negative 5x. That is equal to 22. So now I divide this by negative 5, I divide this by negative 5, so this cancel out. So therefore x is equal to 5 go to 20, of course it's a negative number, give me 4 and remainder 2, so 2 fifth. 2 fifth is equal to 4 ten. that is 0.4. Of course you can just use your calculator, so 22 divided by negative 5, there you go. Now to find y, so I just substitute x is equal to negative 4.4 into this equation here. It's just easier, okay? So y will give me 2 loss of negative 4.4, we add a. So the answer is, so I just go 2 loss of negative 4.4, I just put answer and then plus 8. So that give me negative 0 0.8. Negative 0 0.8. So therefore, x is equal to negative 4.4 and y is equal to negative 0 0.8. There you go. Thank you so much for watching.